Steven Totillo, the Kotaku editor-in-chief for the last 10 years, announced his resignation last week. He posted a heartfelt goodbye on Friday saying, I'm leaving Kotaku. Today's my last day as I gear up for a glorious month of vacation. He then added that he'd still be sticking to video games journalism and to stay tuned for where he's going to end up. Steven Totillo is a name synonymous with Kotaku and is known for his impact on the games industry at large. Notably, he openly exposed a complicated relationship between game sites and games publishers back in 2015 when he posted on Kotaku about being blacklisted by Ubisoft and Bethesda as punishment for publishing leaked info about their games. The greater implication of that story still impacts the industry today as it forced a level of transparency upon professional relationships across the entire games industry that traditionally had none and were taboo to talk about. In addition to maintaining Kotaku's focus on reporting about gaming culture, during his run as editor-in-chief at Kotaku, Totillo hired and managed a number of writers that would go on to impact the industry in their own right. For example, Jason Schreier, who's known for his extensive writing about crunch, Patrick Klepek, who's known for groundbreaking stories like the Infinity Ward implosion, and Tina Amini, the current editor-in-chief at IGN, all spent time developing their skills under Steven Totillo. As things shifted to video, Totillo oversaw creators like Chris Person, the sole creator behind Kotaku's popular clip show, Highlight Reel, and Tim Rogers, who's really just on another level when it comes to breaking down game reviews and previews in a video format. Anyways, the list goes on, and Steven Totillo humbly acknowledged what it's been like to work with such incredible peers and credited them at the top of his goodbye post, saying, There's a writer or a producer on the team. They have an idea. It's something real, something they need to tell people, something worth knowing. They write it, they post it, and the readers show up. Maybe I've helped make that space for them, but really, it's them. They did it, and I'm cheering them on. Having such a long tenure at a game site is very rare, and although it's likely on to better and brighter things for Totillo, one can't help but wonder what the future holds for the site he's leaving behind. Steven Totillo's departure is actually one of many over the last year or so. As you may have noted, none of the previously mentioned peers still work at Kotaku, and there's a long list of others that have left recently enough to form a pattern. Among them are writers like Kirk Hamilton, Gita Jackson, Maddie Myers, Heather Alexandra, Josh Rivera, Cecilia D'Anastasio, and video producer Paul Tamayo. These departures didn't happen at the same time, but many are due to a shift in Kotaku.com's parent company and subsequent handling. Gizmodo Media Group, which included sites like Kotaku, Gizmodo, Lifehacker, and Deadspin, was acquired by Great Hill Partners in April of 2019, and then renamed Geo Media. Noticeable trouble began when directors from Geo Media's CEO, Jim Spanfeller, urged the sites to more or less stay in their lane, specifically telling Deadspin to stick to sports firing one of the site's writers in the process. To make matters worse, autoplay ads began to run on all of the Geo Media sites, including Kotaku. There was an open pushback against all of this, ultimately leading to a mass exodus from Deadspin and a seemingly slower but steady one from Kotaku. In addition, take these numbers with a grain of salt, but according to Alexa Rank, Kotaku's viewership and ad engagement has been trending down for a while now. However, in his goodbye post, Totillo seemed incredibly optimistic about the team at Kotaku he's leaving behind, saying, What you've all done on the site during what we've had to live and work through together is astounding. You're as great a Kotaku team as there's ever been. But you can imagine Totillo was likely one of the stronger defensive barriers between the managers and CEOs put in place by a corporate parent company and the day-to-day -day contributors who work on the site. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens with Kotaku from here, and we wish everyone still there the best of luck. In the meantime, it looks like Totillo will continue to stay with games journalism, and he did leave one final request. He said, It's been an honor to serve this team and our site's readers. To the staff of Kotaku, just one last request. Please, don't relegate my comments to the greys.